Parts Express, the number one source for audio, video, and speaker building components. Hi, it's Joe with Parts Express. Today I'd like to show you two new compression drivers from Dayton Audio, the D250P-8 and the D250T-8. These drivers are identical except for the composition of their diaphragms. The D250P-8 has a polyimide diaphragm, whereas the D250T-8 has a titanium diaphragm. What I want to stress is that while there are some differences between these two units, both of them are professional grade. Whether you're a gigging musician, outfitting a club, building new cabinets, or just replacing the compression drivers in your old one, both these drivers should be up to the task. That said, one of the most exciting developments in speaker building from the last two years has been the widespread adoption of high sensitivity compression drivers for home hi-fi and home theater. For that, we think the D250P-8 is going to be a natural hit because of the smooth sound imparted by the polyimide diaphragm. Let's talk a little bit more about the differences between these two drivers. The D250T-8 with its titanium diaphragm is rated from 800 hertz all the way up to 17,000. Now, 17,000 hertz is not the 20,000 hertz that most people cite as being the top of the human hearing range, but it's actually more than most adults can hear. The D250P has a little more extended top range. It's rated from 1,000 hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz. Both these drivers are rated at 60 watts RMS, but they come to that a little differently. For the D250P, they recommend a 1.6 kilohertz crossover. For the D250T, that same 60 watt RMS power rating is from a 1.4 kilohertz crossover. So it'll handle a little more power and you can cross it over a little lower. If you're replacing a titanium diaphragm driver in an existing cab, this is probably the one I'd go with. If you're in the mood to experiment, you can buy replacement diaphragms and swap them between these two drivers with no trouble at all. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to mount this compression driver on a horn. Uh, it couldn't be simpler. You've got your choice of either 3-bolt or 2-bolt mounting patterns here. And this horn actually has the same choices here. We'll go ahead and use the 2-bolt configuration by getting these studs started into the compression driver. And then we'll fit the horn over. Use some washers and lock washers. We'll thread the nut on by hand and then finally tighten them down with a wrench. Voila! It's not going anywhere. You can absolutely use them with a screw-on horn as well, but you'll need an additional adapter. One thing I've noticed as a sound enthusiast is that there can sometimes be a great deal of skepticism tossed back and forth between the home audio camps and the professional audio camps. Folks, at the top, there's not a lot of difference. You have wonderful compression drivers like the Dayton Audio D250 that work well in both camps. Now, just because I mentioned the professional uses of the D250T or that I really like the D250P for home use doesn't mean that either of these can't be used for either purpose. After all, both jobs are really about the best possible sound reproduction, and that's what you'll get with the Dayton Audio D250. Check it out at PartsExpress.com today. Over 15,000 products, free same-day shipping on most orders, 45-day no-hassle returns, and free tech support. PartsExpress.com the number one source for audio, video, and speaker building components.